Today we're going to solve problems involving remainder theorem sent to us by grade 10 students in the Philippines. Suppose P is a polynomial of degree at least 1 and C is a real number. When P of X is divided by X minus C, the remainder is P of C. Use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when the given polynomial is divided by each polynomial. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 1. P of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x plus 5 divided by x minus 1. Our divisor is x minus 1. Solving for the c value, we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Add 1 to both sides. Our x value here is equal to 1. So to find the remainder, we need to evaluate p of 1. To evaluate p of 1, we substitute 1 to all the x. So we will have 1 to the third minus 7 times 1 plus 5. Simplifying this, 1 to the third is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, minus 7 times 1 is 7, and then we have plus 5. Simplifying this from left to right, 1 minus 7 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. So the value of P of 1 here is negative 1. This means negative 1 is the remainder when P of X is divided by X minus 1. Question number 2. P of X is equal to 2X cubed minus 7X plus 3 divided by X plus 1. Solving for the X, we write the equation X plus 1 is equal to 0. Subtracting 1 to both sides, our X value here is negative 1. So to find the remainder, we need to evaluate P of negative 1. So now let's substitute negative 1 to our P of X. We will have 2 times negative 1 to the third minus 7 times negative 1 plus 3. Simplifying this, negative 1 to the third is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, times 2, we have negative 2, negative 1 times negative 7, that becomes plus 7, and then we have plus 3. Simplifying this from left to right, negative 2 plus 7 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. So our P of negative 1 is 8, and this means 8 is the remainder when P of X is divided by X plus 1. Question number 3. P of X is equal to 4X to the 4th minus 3X cubed minus x squared plus 2x plus 5, divided by x minus 2. Our divisor is x minus 2, so we will have x minus 2 equals 0. Adding 2 to both sides, our x value here is 2. So now we will evaluate p of 2. Now let's substitute 2 to our p of x. We have 4 times 2 to the 4th power, minus 3 times 2 to the 3rd, minus 2 square, plus 2 times 2, and then plus 5. 2 to the 4th is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. 2 to the 3rd is 8, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Minus 2 square is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4, and then we have plus 5. Simplifying this from left to right, 64 minus 24 is 40, 40 minus 4 is 36, 36 plus 4 is 40, 40 plus 5 is 45. So our P of 2 is 45, and this means 45 is the remainder when P of X is divided by X minus 2. Question 4. P of X is equal to 2X to the 4th minus 3X cubed plus 4X squared plus 17X plus 7 divided by X minus 1. What do you think is our x value here? Our x value here is 1 because we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Adding 1 to both sides, our x value is 1. So now let's evaluate p of 1. So let's substitute 1 to the x. 
we have 2 times 1 to the 4th minus 3 times 1 to the 3rd plus 4 times 1 square plus 17 times 1 plus 7. Simplifying this, 1 to the 4th is 1 times 2, we have 2. 1 to the 3rd is 1 times negative 3, we have minus 3. 1 square is 1 times 4, we have plus 4. 17 times 1 is 17, and then we have plus 7. Simplify this further from left to right, we have 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. 3 plus 17 20. 20 plus 7 is 27. So our P of 1 is equal to 27, which means that 27 is the remainder when P of X is divided by X minus 1. Question 5. P of X is equal to 8X to the 4th plus 12X cubed plus 10X squared plus 3X plus 27 divided by 2X minus 3. What do you think is our X value here? X value here is not 3. To solve for x, we will have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Adding 3 to both sides, we will have 2x is equal to 3. And then divide by 2, so our x value here is 3 over 2. This means we need to evaluate p of 3 over 2. So now let's substitute 3 over 2 into our x. We will have 8 times 3 over 2 to the 4th power plus 12 times 3 over 2 to the 3rd, plus 10 times 3 over 2 to the 2nd, plus 3 times 3 over 2, plus 27. Simplifying this, we have 8 times 3 to the 4th is 81, 2 to the 4th is 16. Plus, we have 12 times 3 to the 3rd is 27, 2 to the 3rd is 8. Plus, 10 times 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4. Plus, 3 times 3 over 2 is 9 over 2, and then plus 27. 8 over 16 is 1 half, times 81 is 81 over 2. 12 over 8 can be reduced as 3 over 2, so this is also 81 over 2. 10 over 4 can be reduced as 5 over 2, so this will be 45 over 2, plus 9 over 2, plus 27. Simplifying the fractions, we have 81 plus 81 plus 45 plus 9, that's 216 divided by 2, we have 108. 108 plus 27, we will have 135. So the value of P of 3 over 2 is 135, and this is the remainder when P of X is divided by 2X minus 3. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.